Hi, my name is Aile and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna change the strings of my electric, my acoustic and I'm gonna show you how I clean the fretboard and the body of my guitars. Let's get started. Depending on how often you play and in which conditions is how often you should change your strings and clean your fretboard. Here I'm including a chart with some guidelines for when to change your strings. Another way to tell when your strings need to be changed is if they start to sound and feel dull. About every third or fourth time you change your strings is a good time to clean your fretboard. This is not an absolute, of course, but it's a reference you can follow if you're just getting started. To remove your strings, first unwind them from the machine heads until they are loose enough to come off the pegs. You can then cut the end of the string so it's easier to remove from the grommets at the bottom. Then push the ball end from out of the grommet and pull the string out. Before you start cleaning the grime from the fretboard, protect the sound hole and the hardware of the guitar by placing a piece of fabric or a cloth over them. For unfinished rosewood fretboards, rubbing the finest grade of steel wool in a circular motion between the frets and across their length can help remove the buildup. Some people also use guitar picks to scrape the gunk that accumulates next to the fret divisions and across the length of the frets. Be very gentle so that you don't scratch the neck. Once you have cleaned off the grime, apply a lemon oil to rehydrate the fretboard. And then, if you choose, you can rub a fretboard oil to help prevent future buildup. Follow the instructions on the bottle as different brands have different specifications. For maple fretboards, the guitar pick method works well to remove stubborn grime. Do not use steel wool on a maple fretboard with a glossy finish as it can get damaged. After you've removed the grime, use a damp cloth to clean the fretboard or a very soft toothbrush with soapy water. I like to use a toothbrush. I make sure to get the softest one I can find and I use it to gently clean the fretboard divisions with just a little bit of soap and water. I then dry the fretboard with a microfiber cloth. Once dry, you can rub the fretboard oil to prevent from future buildup. Do not use lemon oil on maple fretboards. To clean the dust off of the guitar body, wipe it with a dry microfiber cloth. I also use the dry toothbrush to remove dust from the bridge and in between the pickups or other little crevices that are hard to get. Finally, for gloss finished guitars, spray guitar polish onto a microfiber cloth and wipe down. Use a dry part of the cloth to buff out the polish. For matte finished guitars, use only a dry cloth. To make the hardware shine, rub a small amount of guitar polish using a soft cloth. When you grab a new pack of strings, they usually have a guide on the package that tells you which string goes where. The ball heads on each string are color-coded according to their intended placement. Insert the plain end through the grommet and pull through until the ball end stops you. Next, measure two machine heads from the one you are attaching the string to and cut the string at that length. Fit the string through the hole and hold the rest of the string down with a finger. Begin to wind the machine head so that the string wraps around the post. Make sure you are winding the machine head in the right direction, which is away from you. With every turn, also make sure that the string is winding downwards towards the headstock. Ideally, you want to have about two or three windings. As the string gets tighter, make sure it is placed in its proper slot on the knot and on the bridge. Finally, stretch the string by pulling it towards you while pushing it with your thumb to the opposite direction. Do this a few times. Once you have changed all of your strings, you can then proceed to tune them up. For an acoustic guitar, follow the same procedure except for the following changes. On the bridge, there are pins which hold the strings in place. Pull the pin up in order to free the string from the bottom end of the guitar. 
When installing brand new strings, insert the string first and then put the pin inside the bridge with the cutout facing the neck. Press the pin down firmly and pull the string so that there is no slack. When you are winding the machine heads, remember to wind the bottom strings away from you and the top strings towards you. This will make it easier to tune them on either side of the headstock. If you make a habit of washing your hands before you play and wiping down the fretboard after you play your guitar, you might not need to clean the fretboard as often and when you do you won't have to deal with stubborn grime. I hope you found this video helpful. If you're interested in more guitar related videos, I have this playlist with all of my guitar tips. If you'd like to subscribe, that would be very much appreciated. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.